Hello friends, this is Femi from your very own channel Femi How. This video tutorial is going to be one of the best beginner's guide to Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel is one of the best software because it performs tons of work automatically for you. For example, if you want to create a table and normally in a table you need to create a column of serial number and you have to give numbers for example you will need to type 1 2 3 4 5 but in excel just type 1 and then move your cursor here so that its shape change from a thick plus to a thin plus then right then left click and stretch down then here you can see that a down arrow, a small down arrow. Click on it and click fill series. And you can see that automatical serial number column has been created for you. Similarly, you can also create, for example, I want to uh, type years. For example, I type 2009. And then again, I will move my cursor so that its shape changes from a thick plus to a thin plus. Then I will left click and stretch down. And here again, from here I will select series, fill series. And you can see that I have got my desired result. Similarly, you can type words. For example, you often need to type days. For example, I type Monday, then again I will left click and drag it down. And you can see that rest of days has been automatically typed for me. Similarly, you can also type months. I type January and then I will drag down. And you can see that other months have been automatically typed for me. So this is how Microsoft Excel performs tons of automatic work for you. Now, what next? This interface in which I am working is called workbook. A workbook can contain multiple worksheets here you can see that here i have different sheets sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 sheet 4 i have different sheets i am working in this sheet you can move to other sheet by clicking on that sheet so other sheets will be opened in front of you so my sheet was sheet 3 so i will click on it and i am returned in sheet 3 now as we work in Microsoft Excel, moving within the sheet is very much important. If you want to move to the next row, you can type next and you will be moved to the next row. If you want to return to the above row, what will you do? You will need to press shift and press enter. You will move above. What if you want to move left? For moving left, you will need to type tab. And if you want to move left, you will have to press shift and then press tab. So this is how you can do your movement within Excel worksheet. You can also perform this movement by up, down, left arrows, buttons on your keyboard. Now. As you can see that at the top there are some names written A, B, C, D, D. These are the names of columns and you can see that in vertical, left vertical column numbers have been written 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the numbers of rows. Bo both of these combine to make a cell. Here you can see that a cell is having a green border. I have you can click any cell by left click by using your left click now the most important thing is the address of the cell 
address of the cell. Here you can see that I click on any random cell and its address can be seen here. C2, it means this cell lies in column C and row 2. I click another cell and its address has been changed. And it is C8, means it lies in the C column and at row. So in Microsoft Excel, it is very much important that you know that address of a cell is very much important than the something which is written inside the cell. But you don't need to remember the address of these cell. Another very important point is that there is a difference between selecting a cell and editing a cell. Here I have opened another worksheet in which I have already added some data. For selecting any cell, you just need to click that cell. But if you want to make changes within that cell, you will have to double click. I double click in it and I type 1. In next cell, I type double click, I double click and I type 2. Then in next, I type 3, I type 4. So, next, here you can see that I want to give a heading to this chart. I want to type here, price chart table and press enter. But you can see that the text has not been adjusted to a particular cell. For adjusting a text within a cell, what you need to do is go on the top of that cell where the headings of the columns has been written. And when the cursor changes from a plus to a double arrow sign, double click. And you can see that text has been adjusted. The column has been adjusted according to the text. But here you can see that this heading is not looking good. It should be little bigger and in the center of this data. So I will select this whole data range. Then here you can see the option of merge and center. I will click on it. And you can see that my data has been centered. But I want to have a background, a color background behind this text. What I will do? I will click here, fill color. Then I will give it a color. Then you can also change the text of the color. I change it to some other color. You can also change its fonts. So this is how you can change the background color of your data. I repeat here. Here I want to change its background color. So I am changing its background color. Uh, first I will select the data range in which I want to change the color. So this is how you can change the background color of your data and how you can fit text according to the column or you can adjust your column according to the text. Now, here I want to share another tip for you. For example, if you want to if you want to fill whole row with the same word, you want to type that same word 1000 times in 1000 rows. How will you do it? You cannot type it manually. Microsoft Excel will do it instantly for you first. For typing a name, for example, Typing America, sorry, for example, I want to type America 100 times in every row. I cannot type it manually. 
Microsoft Excel will do it for me. On its left column, I will type 1. Then click outside again, type 1. Make sure that you are working in the same cell. And then here you have the option of fill. Then series. As I am filling in columns, so I will click columns. And starting value is 1. Stopping value will be 1000. Now click OK. And you can see that a serial number has been generated from 1 to 1000. Then click on America. Now bring cursor so that its shape changes from thick plus to a thick thin plus and double click. Now you can see that America has been typed 1000 times. So this is how Excel makes your work easy. Now Now I want to move this data. Here I have data of two columns. I want to move this column to other place. I want to copy this column to other place. How I will copy it? I will press Ctrl C for copying it. Then I will move my cursor to the border of this data. So its so it shape changes to a four arrow sign. Then I will press Control and I will click left and you can see that another copy has been generated. In this way you can create several copies of your data within a worksheet and even you can copy this data to some other worksheet. You can also copy your desired row. How can you do it? For this, click on clipboard. Then select the rows and press Ctrl C. Then select some other row and Ctrl C. Select multiple rows. Now I have selected these different five rows. Now wherever I want to paste these five rows data I can do it. Simply click on your desired cell and just click on paste all. And here you can see that from thousands of row you have got your desired rows at your desired place. So this is how Excel makes work very much easy for you. I close the clipboard. Now another thing, you can also swap rows or columns. How can you do it? Here you can see that E column is containing serial number and F column is containing America. Now I will interchange them. I will swap them. How will I swap them? Move my cursor to the border so that its shape changes from plus sign to four arrows. Then I will press shift. And you can see that the columns have been swapped. So I am sure that you will be definitely liking these videos. This video because I am showing you that how easy Excel makes your work. Now, here you can see that I have thousand of rows. Created in Microsoft Excel and these rows are created within minutes. This is the power of Microsoft Excel. Now let's discuss another very important feature. 
I would say the most important feature of Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel formulas are the most important thing because it perform different mathematical operations for you automatically and you don't need to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, percentage, each and everything will be done for you by Microsoft Excel. Here I have a table in which I have different prices for product 1, product 2, product 3, product 4. I want to get the sum of these four products. It's very simple. It's become very much simple because of Excel formulas what I will do I will double click in this cell I have already told you for making any changes in a cell you will have to double click in that cell so I will start formula every formula will be started with equal then as I am adding so I will type sum then I will type a small bracket then just give the range what is the range? This is the range from product 1 to product 2. Range has automatically been written for you. Just close the small bracket and press enter. So you have, get, you have got the sum. But it becomes even more easy because for 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th row, you can do it automatically. Just move your cursor when the thick plus button changes to a thin plus button just drag down and you can see that I have got the sum for all the prices so this is how you can do calculations for thousands of rows and columns in Microsoft Excel so in this video I have given a basics basics of microsoft excel and i am pretty much sure that you have learned a lot in this video if you have learned something in this video please subscribe my channel and hit the like button thanks for watching thanks for your time goodbye